for me personally, I think learning, yeah, my parents were really young when they had us <laughs> and we want, like my dad was in, um, asset management, he helped raise money mm. for funds for our RIAs from RIAs. And, um, I watched him growing up get pretty beat up with the, the market cycles like mm. in 2000 we moved to South Carolina from Philly area because mm. he took over the Southeast section of the country, uh, the territory. And then 2001, nine 11 and, mm -hmm. uh, happened in the markets crash and he got laid off almost mm. immediately and saw him sort of struggle through that. He had to take a job as a bellhop at a hotel when we were down there and then eventually mm. picked himself back up from his bootstraps, started his own firm, mm -hmm. uh, and built that up. And then 2008 happened and he got beat up again. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it was, it always felt like to me that my parents were trying to like catch up. They had mm -hmm. kids when they were young and, um, they provided us with incredible educations. We went to, uh, my brother and I went to an all, all guys prep school and mm -hmm. my sister got a good education and they really focused on that part of our lives, particularly is like, Hey, we're going to invest in your education. And mm -hmm. I think it's paid off significantly for me personally. Um, but yeah, like I think Bitcoin particularly, like I, I don't think my parents ever really had the ability to save mm. correctly, um, throughout the first 20 years of my life. Mm. Uh, and when I found Bitcoin around that age, around 20, 19, 20, I think it wasn't immediately, but over time learning from people like you two, um, <laughs> the, like I should have a focus on like building a nest egg and um, really building up that savings account. So I don't have to have that stress and go through that volatile mm. cycle that I watched my dad go through. Going up.